David Baker recently shared a Nobel Prize, and that's a big deal. I think, you know, he was obviously the less famous recipient of the prize, but... <laughs> it shouldn't be that way, no. I have a few things to say there. Yeah, definitely a huge David Baker fan, for sure. He runs a solid lab. The work they put out is really good stuff. And from what I hear, he's a very good advisor too. A lot of his students and coworkers have a lot of good things to say about him. Something that is a, a little maybe annoying to me in particular is, is the fanfare that Alpha Fold got over some of the stuff that David Baker got and some of the more like, you know, simple mainstream sort of videos that are maybe not digging into the history as much as you could. Because I, I mean, David Baker's been doing this for a while. He's been doing protein engineering longer than AlphaFold has been around for sure. And I would say like the approaches that they were using pre AlphaFolds were very like physics based sort of methods. And I mean, they had some reasonable results with some of that in some systems, but I think things really started to change when they started adopting AI. And that happened right around when AlphaFold happened. Like Baker Lab had been using AI methods even before AlphaFold came out. They also built their own structure prediction model similar to AlphaFold 2. They built RosettaFold 2, which is a very similar model, it does the exact same thing, predicts the structure given a protein sequence. And they actually did something really interesting. They took it a step further. They didn't stop at structure prediction. They decided they wanted to bring in someone to do generative modeling. And so they brought in people to do generative modeling and they fine tuned Rosetta Fold 2 into a diffusion model that they called RF diffusion. It, it's been out for like two, two or two and a half years, but it, it's still very useful even though. And I think they've come up with a lot of different AI models too. It's not just structure prediction and generating binders or doing motif scaffolding with RF diffusion. Uh, they also had to develop a sequence design model so that they could design the protein sequences that fold into the design structures that they have. They also developed several other models for various other things. Yeah, I, I think the Nobel was definitely well-deserved for sure.